21. Trevin played 11 minutes, didn't score. Spencer Johnson played 16 minutes. He had one point. So one point and 27 minutes between the entirety of this current BYU roster that have experienced March Madness. And even then, did they really experience it? There were no fans. It was all in Indianapolis. This will be an entirely different circumstance. And I'm super excited for these BYU guys to get that full experience, especially Trevin and Spencer, who got a taste of it, but they didn't really get the full measure of this. So now we go to Trevin Nell, one of those guys that can tell his team, in a way, what it's like to play a tournament game. And again, with BYU as a six seed, just like they were back in 2021. Here's Jerem Jordan with Trevin Nell. All right, Trevin, what, what's it been like uh, at the NCAA tournament so far? Uh, it's been fun. It's been fun to connect with the guys. Uh, we got here last night, so we've had like a night to kind of recoup on, you know, the travels. But today's been super fun to be able to be in the gym and, you know, practice and get ready for this game. Uh, it's been fun with, you know, guys that have been to the NCAA tournament before. Uh, we have Foose, you know, eyeing over the police escort. He, he, he thought we were celebrities. Um, but yeah, it's, kind of are, right? It kind of, I guess, but it's been super fun for sure. What's uh, what's a successful tournament going to look like for this team, in your opinion? Um, well, a lot of people just doubted us, like, from the get-go. So to be able to be here and prove a lot of people wrong, like, we, li we live in that space of being the underdog. Um, and so for us, it's just, you know, to continue to make that run and continue to, you know, play to our expectations. So that's what I think is going to make us, you know, feel successful at the end of the day. What are the expectations for you guys? I mean, every day, everybody's expectation is to win it, right? So we're going in. We're going to have that mindset. Um, Duquesne is a really, really special team. They're really, really talented. So it's going to be a challenge, but we're, we're really excited for it. What is most challenging about them? Um, they have really two dynamic guards. Uh, they cut really hard, play really hard. Uh, all, of our, uh, all of our scouting is just like these guys are hard playing dudes. So credit to them. Um, we're going to have to match their energy, and it's going to be a fun one for sure. Do you believe in momentum in the scout? Like, hey, these guys just won the A-10. They've won eight in a row. They're hot right now. We've, we've got to show up against something like that. Yeah, for sure. Like the, this team, a lot of people think like they might overlook different teams, but that's not us. So we know Duquesne's a really, really special team. They they've been playing their best basketball, probably best basketball out of anybody in the college right now. Um, so we're gonna have to match that energy and match their their style of play. Since you've been to the tourney before, what insights have you offered or will you offer to the team in terms of what it's like to be here? Granted, that was in the COVID one. It was kind of weird, right? This is like a full normal one. For sure. Uh, well, everybody's already talking about this box that we have in the middle of the room. They're like, what's that? They're all looking at me like I should be like the grandfather to know everything. Um, but it, it's fun. I, I always tell every guy, like, hey, this, every game that we play in the NCAA tournament is going to be the hardest game we've ever played. And so to have that mindset going forward is going to really help us. What did playing in the Big 12 do for you in terms of getting to this moment? And, hey, we've been in a lot of big games this year versus maybe years past where there were big games, but not as many as this year. For sure. It just shows that, like, we're fearless, right? Like, we're going in. We're not going to overlook anybody, and we're not going to back down to anybody. Um, so the fearless mindset is something that we definitely, you know, learned um, going into the Big 12 and that, that we can also play with anybody and that the physicality is going to really help us because I just feel like in the SAA tournament, Every team's going to be physical. Everything's going to be really hard. But to be able to have that Big 12 behind our back to you know, help us get to this point is, is going to be huge. Besides making threes, what do you have to do to win tomorrow? We've got to play defense. This team's really, again, super talented. So we've got to play defense. We've got to really lock in. And we've got to be ready to play all these actions that they have. So it's going to be a, a fun one for everybody, for sure. Back to the motivations you talked about. Is there motivation for this team? And you guys have thrived off of no one thought we could do this, or we're not in the AP poll now, or you've had a lot of moments like that, right? What is it now, and, and does it have anything to do with seeding? Like, oh, we were 17, but we're a six, and whatever. <laughs> I mean, yes, for sure. I mean, we're, we're always going to play with a chip on our shoulder a little bit. Um, when we saw that six seed, we were, like, we're, we're excited to be here for sure, but uh, we're definitely going to play with a little chip on our shoulder. Um, a lot of people are still counting us out, so it's going to be fun to live in that space and continue to prove a lot of people wrong. What were you hoping for? Uh, we're always hoping forward to play in Salt Lake. You know, that would be super fun, a lot of fun for the fans. Um, but again, it's, we're in Omaha. It's a great place. We're playing Crane's Gym, so it's a shooter's gym, so I like it. Well, best of luck out there. All the karma I can give you, and uh, have fun. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.